Hello my friends and welcome to a new video that's probably or more so hopefully gonna be on the shorter end and this time ideally it'll be true. I know I have a track record of saying this will be a short one and then it isn't. Anyways the reason for the shortness of today's video is actually probably not what you expect. Generally speaking these videos that end up being really short are short because the game is so terrible I've already said all of the things that would ever need to be said about these types of games and so because of that there's just nothing to say. This time around I actually have a fair bit to say but I can't say it because it would go into spoilers territory and for the first time in a very very long time I cannot spoil this game. I just can't do it. It would be a complete disservice. This is one of the few times where a game comes along that I have so little negative to say about it that once again the only negative that I think I have is the fact that I played it in the current state that it's in and not when it's finished. And that's not to say that the current state of the game in terms of gameplay is bad. The gameplay in this game is actually very, very good, and it touches on some tropes that I've talked about before in games where I have an understanding of why they are the way that they are, and I think that it makes for better difficulty. So why don't we start there? Let's talk about the gameplay. Detriment is a 3D platformer. When you start the game, you're greeted with a tutorial that does a fantastic job of explaining all of the things that you need to know. The mechanics on display here are very extensive. In terms of jumping, you have your standard jump and double jump, but you also have the interesting ability where if you slide off of a platform, you can actually jump twice in the air since you didn't technically use your first jump. So in other words, you effectively always have two jumps whether you slid off the platform or jumped off the platform. You also have the ability to dive with E, and if you have your jump available, you can cancel the dive at any time in order to slow your momentum and gain back control of where you're going. Now granted, the dive also gives you action ability while you're in it, so you're able to turn around and go different directions while you're diving. The dive is really quick though, so if you're trying to do this to save yourself, you better hope you're going to be accurate. And that being said, if you've used your jump and then try to cancel your dive, it's not going to do a whole lot because, well, you don't have your jump anymore. So this puts you into interesting dilemmas where sometimes you want to conserve your jump and sometimes you want to burn it early if you have faith in where your dive is going to put you. I've talked previously when it comes to 3D platformers that there's a few different types of movement systems that games tend to use and how there's a hierarchy where there's a level of control and a perfect sweet spot that you can hit where there's a lack of control in order to make sure that skillful jumps are just that, skillful jumps, but there's enough control that it doesn't feel like when you die it's because you didn't have control. And I can comfortably say that Detriment has the best system hands down for this. It hits the perfect sweet spot of having a ton of control while also making it very realistic that if you don't time your jumps and go at the correct distances, you will fall off and die. And that's the thing, falling off and dying is part of these games. You shouldn't just be immune to falling off at all times, and the movement systems need to accommodate that. And here, they do. There were several times where I burned my jump early like an idiot, and then I couldn't cancel it because I already burned my jump, and I fell to my death. And I deserve that because I made a bad decision. That's interesting challenge, and the thing that I think most devs when it comes to platformers should aspire to accomplish. Another wonderful thing about this game is just the attention to detail when it comes to the environments that you're going through and the NPCs that you can talk to. And by NPCs you can talk to, I mean literally every single person in the entire game you can talk to, and they all have conversations, personalities, etc. Sure, it's just text on the screen, but the fact that they went through the effort of making it so you can talk to every single person is insane. And I did. I talked to everyone in the whole game. It really fleshes out the lore of the world, and you can find people talking about specific things and then find the people that they were talking about later. Like, there was one point where an NPC was talking about how they didn't understand how the trees in this area turned like purple and green, and then later on I found the NPC who was in charge of genetically modifying the trees to make them purple. It's stuff like that that just really showcases care for a game. And I mean, I guess that's it. I, I really can't talk about a lot of this other stuff without it being direct spoilers. I mean, if I want to nitpick, I can. It did feel like the powers system was kind of tacked on and there was never a reason to use it, but I imagine that's something that will be more fleshed out when the full game comes out. But I mean, just take this reaction from me when things went down. Oh my God. Holy shit. 
and go play this game for yourself. Seriously. Or honestly, maybe don't. And it's the first time that I think I might not recommend a good game. And that's because, like I said, my only complaint that I had was the fact that I played this demo version and didn't wait until it was fully released. I think this is going to be something very special, and I hope the developers can continue the great work that they did with the demo in the rest of the game. There's a fantastic base here, an incredibly interesting world, and I really hope I see it realized. Anyways, that's all from me. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, don't. And with all that being said, have a wonderful day night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time.